Hello everybody, it's me Rainbow Shike here and today I have a new update for this month. Yeah, even though I kind of added this actually last month, but I want to do a LEGO City update almost once every month. So I kind of waited to show this off. But anyway, yeah, this is the new addition to LEGO City, a LEGO school. So yeah, um, yeah, I haven't been really wanting to go to school for, for my LEGO City, honestly. I mean, I remember having like an elementary school in my old lego city when i was a kid but then i kind of ditched the idea but then i but then i saw this new um lego friends uh heart lake city schools and i thought like wow you know this actually looks really good i should add it to my city and i got it immediately and i put it in the city so yeah um it's a really nice looking set i really love how it looks the detailing the pillars the window all of it just looks really cool and i'm really glad that i got it because I always thought like yeah, I I almost I always want to put um something essential in a city for my Lego city. I always have to have something essential like a town hall, or you know, diner, a movie theater. Maybe that's not too essential, but you know, every city has one of those. So I wanted to make sure the city feels really complete, like um, and make it feel like people actually do and can live here. And, and so yeah, school really ties it all together. It's right next to the Lego neighborhood, which I thought would be really fitting. So all the students can just, you know, walk to school. Yeah, I replaced the snack bar uh, thing with this. I, um, yeah, I feel like, I've, I've always feel like there's something, sh like something was missing here. Even with a snack bar set, I feel like something else should be there. And this really ties it all together, really makes it uh, look good. And yeah, as you can see, I added some minifigures inside to make it look, you know, like there's people actually in it. There's like a girl in there taking a class, person there in the bathroom, someone taking an art class, and someone walking in the halls. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really happy. And honestly, I really, really do like the Lego Friends set. Yeah, I mean, they can look kind of girly, but I really like um, sets like this because this doesn't look entirely like like girly. Like this, this could fit like anything. Like this could be like a regular lego like city uh school set and it would still look perfectly fine but i really do like some of the lego friend sets i even have another one over here an art studio like they can make really nice cool town sets like an art studio that would that, that and it looks really nice and they're they make really cool lego houses but they're usually too big and too expensive so i don't really get those but on the rare occasion when they have something like this cool i i have to get it <laughs> so yeah definitely a really cool set really makes the city more complete and looks really great in the overall you know neighborhood part of the section so yeah that's uh, the one big major update i don't really have anything major other than adding new minifigures yeah um yesterday i actually went to the flea market and got a whole bunch of cool vintage looking lego uh, lego figures for the city to make to put more people and to make the city more i guess to make the citizens look more unique i don't know make it more more variety of the people there's one of them right there just walking he's like the school bully i guess so yeah i have a few new guys walking around um let's see uh here's um palm tree guy here's that guy exxon guy oh uh, yeah but a whole bunch of new lego minifigures that i added to the city make it feel you know a bit more classic style because i really like uh, oh yeah there's lego tim um yeah i did not know this guy actually had a name so it was really cool looking oh so in focus come on lego tim yeah I've, I've been seeing this guy in a lot of like old school lego videos so i'm really happy to have him finally it's a really nice uh, cool looking figure to have and it's a it's a not maybe not entirely famous but a care a really um unique uh, i don't even know just a lego character i just love having lego characters like clutch powers or pepperoni in the lego island games yeah <laughs> Yeah, let's see what else. Oh, here's this guy. This guy. Finger accidentally touched the freaking thing, so the video stopped. Yeah, <laughs> but it's okay. So like this really look, really look, uh, vintage looking guy. Yeah, I love the I love the way vintage minifigures look. They just there's something about them that just hits different rather than like you know the new new figures. I mean, don't get me wrong, new figs look great, but like, God, there's a certain charm and personality to the to the old ones like that dude right there or that dude. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, you might see new people walking around in the in the city um maybe um maybe every update because usually um i i don't tend to go to the flea market often but whenever i do i usually tend to pick up more vintage people so like um, maybe every update you guys will see like hey there's that guy i've never seen before there or hey look look there's that guy and yeah other than like citizens i did buy other vintage lego figures over here so yeah there's a lot of from space 
and uh, the, even Rock Raiders and Agents. Yeah, I love, I love collect. Yeah, these look so cool. <laughs> Vintage with Lego minifigures are so amazing. But anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Um, new updates every once every month, unless if it's like maybe a lot of like changes, maybe I'll do small ones. But yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching and uh, comment below on what mock you guys want to see next. If you want to see my little Apple Store, Apple Store watch or the, or this house or let's see what else, or this even, or even this uh, like classic cell looking house that I made. But yeah, comment below what you guys want to see for the next mock review and I'll see you guys next time. School.